Welcome to the Knowledge Gaming Entertainment Channel, my fellow Blitzers. In this video, we'll review the French Tier 8 Premium Heavy, the Somua SM, currently available in store. Here is the offer for 8,500 gold. This French Premium pulled into my garage from a snow globe a couple years ago during the Christmas event, and it's been a fun ride ever since. As I've previously mentioned, I find variety is the spice of life on Blitz, and this Tier 8 Auto Loading Heavy provides yet another unique and interesting playstyle to my garage, as we will detail by first examining the firepower. It mounts a 3-shot auto-loading 100mm gun, and although the DPM is only 1911, as I'm about to clarify, that number is not always an accurate representation of its real-world effectiveness, you see there's something called burst damage, and this factor has several advantages outside of just a damage per minute stat, such as the ability for an auto-loader to clear multiple threats in quick succession, as shown here. which can be an invaluable ability of effectiveness that is not currently represented with a numerical statistic. And is also shown here. The ability to clear a single threat preventing escape, revealing another useful advantage of the autoloader. Magazine reload is long at 23.20 seconds. Interclip is just 3 seconds. AP pin is 232 and APCR is a healthy for Tier 8 263. AP Alpha is 310, and only 260 for the Pramo. The gun limit down, a beautiful 10 degrees. These are my current equipment and provision settings. Running calibrated shells just doesn't yield the benefits that improved ventilation does for this vehicle. Next, let's highlight the armor. I find it to be reliable a majority of the time. The turret is 200 millimeters with lots of funky angles, and the hull at 155 isn't bad, especially with 90 millimeters of side armor as I'll demonstrate, making side scraping often an effective tactic. Now let's take a real-world in-game look at the armor profile which provides a better idea than numbers or cartoon coloring book examples as seen elsewhere. As you can see it's looking strong both on the hull and the turret especially when pulling the gun up to hide those hatches in critical moments. And now, down, showing the weaker areas on the cheeks. Here. And here in the hatches as you can see the larger double D on the right. Here. And as mentioned this thing can side scrape if your hull over angling position is kept in mind. As demonstrated here, over angled. Correct angle. Correct angle. And again over angled. Just take a mental note of this demo for in game recall, and you will be very effective. In further demonstration here's a bounce of 450 from a big gun with the hull armor. And shown here the turret deflecting 700 from another PD with good pin. And here, 2 for 700 from behind. Got to love me some MOA. And finally let's examine the third branch of the armored vehicle triad, mobility. Stated simply it is solid. I find it moves well especially for a decently armored heavy in most situations that do not include trucking up a steep incline. To sum it up, overall the Somua SM Premium is excellent. I find autoloaders sometimes tend to produce smarter, more calculated gameplay, as making sure to land all three shots, then returning to cover for reload as opposed to the YOLO in to outshoot everyone or constantly pushing out to take a shot after every reload. Thanks for stopping by the Knowledge Gaming Entertainment Channel Tankers. Please hammer that thumbs up button on your way out also. If you have a moment, please leave a comment letting me know if you prefer an action game included with these reviews, or prefer just the review. And an epic thank you to all of my subscribers, and to those who may consider subscribing, you may want to check out some of my other videos that include container droppings, action clips, reviews, and gaming action. So until next time my fellow blitzers have a good one.
and I'll see you on the battlefield.